First of all, this video is not intended to be legal advice or financial advice when it comes to running an agricultural business. This is strictly my experience and my opinions only. So if you don't know what Akadama is, here's what it is. Akadama is a clay product. It isn't hard like a rock. It will crush if you push on it hard enough. But as long as you're not crushing it all the time, while you would do that, I don't know. It should last for a good bit of time. A lot of people are concerned with the deterioration factor of Akadama. And I found in my experience that it will last a good bit of time, especially if you're a seller. A lot of your plants aren't going to be growing for that long. You're usually going to root an offset in a two inch pot and typically sell that. At least that's what I used to do. Of course, you're going to sell bigger plants too, but primarily we're talking two inch pots. How worth you do grow slow, but they'll be fine and last in the Akadama for as long as you need to propagate them to sell them and get them to their new home. So back in the day, I used to be a succulent grower and seller. I had a greenhouse, which if you've watched any of my recent videos, you know that it blew away recently. So I had a greenhouse, I have several raised beds outside, and I had a pretty elaborate indoor setup. So I had all my bases covered and I was always experimenting. And the favorite growing medium that I found hands down is Akadama. It just speeds up the entire process of getting a plant ready for shipping because I had to ship all of my plants bare root. And sometimes it is a real pain to get traditional soil, soilless mix off the roots of plants, especially when they're wet. Well, that isn't the case with Akadama. You can literally, you can literally just pull the plant out of the pot and shake it off and get almost all the Akadama off, and then you can get the rest off with your hands. Another thing that's nice about that is you can reuse the Akadama as long as you thoroughly clean it and sterilize it, and you cannot do that with traditional soil. Now, you can compost it, but it's going to take a substantial amount of time versus the cleaning process of the Akadama. And what's nice about being able to just pull it out of wherever it's growing is if it's, if it's growing in a tray, this will be much easier to do. You just fill the whole tray up with Akadama and you can just pull the plant out, put a new plant back in. That's extremely awesome. I can't stress how great that is. So not only is it great for the shipping process, but I believe, especially when it comes to Haworthia, that I'm just going to grow a superior plant especially where I live, my conditions, and what I got going on for me personally. It's just always been the best growing medium. Now maybe, maybe pumice would work better for you where you live, but where I live, pumice just doesn't cut it but I could see it having the same benefits that we previously talked about. You can grow way more than Haworthia and Akadama. I know a lot of the growers that you'll see using Akadama are typically Haworthia growers, but I've been seeing more and more people use it for a wide variety of plants, and that's what I did. Now there's a bit of a learning curve with certain succulents. I find that the Haworthia are definitely more suited to the Akadama. I don't really know why that is. Maybe it's the thicker roots and it can handle not having as much water when the Akadama dries out versus like an Echeveria that has the smaller, more web-like roots. But no matter the case, it's just all about learning how to grow that particular plant in the Akadama. And when you do, you're gonna reap all the benefits I had a tray out in my greenhouse that was solely dedicated to Sempervivum and learning how to grow them in Akadama. 
and I did and it was amazing it definitely sped up the shipping process like I talked about and the plants look just as nice as my other plants growing in soil and some of them looked even better I think that's a good bit of the information that I wanted to cover on this topic. I'm sure I forgot some stuff. I always do. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave those below. If you enjoyed this video, it'd be great if you hit that thumbs up button. Feel free to come on over and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and you have a fantastic day.